Living with type 2 diabetes is not easy, especially given that many diabetes drugs cause weight gain as a side effect. But what if I told you that there are diabetes drugs that don't cause weight gain, but actually cause weight loss? How's everyone doing? It's Isaac, Dr. Pharmacy, and in this video, we're going to be talking about one of such medications called semaglutide, also known as Ozempic. We'll talk about how Ozempic works. We'll talk about how effective Ozempic is for weight loss and blood sugar control, common side effects, how to use it, and some of Ozempic's more special attributes. But before we get started, this video is for informational purposes only. Drugs are complicated and everyone's situation is different, so make sure to speak with your healthcare provider before using Ozempic. Let's talk about how Ozempic works. Ozempic helps to lower blood sugars and promote weight loss by mimicking natural hormones your body makes after eating a meal. These natural hormones are called incretins, and they do two very important things. First of all, they help to lower blood sugars by stimulating release of insulin and inhibiting release of glucagon. And second of all, they cause weight loss by slowing down digestion, which in turn makes you feel full faster and prevents you from overeating during a meal. Now exactly how effective is Ozempic? Ozempic was studied in people with type 2 diabetes, and in studies, we saw consistent improved blood sugar control and lowered body weight. On average, we would see improved uh, A1C by about 1.5, and we would see decreased body weight by about 5 or 6 kilograms. Now, Ozempic was compared to other common diabetes drugs such as Genuvia, also known as Citagliptin, Invocana, also known as Canagliflozin, as well as other GLP-1 receptor agonists, so drugs within the same drug class, and long-acting insulin uh, Glargine, also known as Lantus. And we saw that Ozempic was better than these drugs when it came to blood sugar control as well as weight loss. Let's talk about safety now. So some common side effects from Ozempic included nausea, diarrhea, vomiting, and stomach pain. These side effects typically go away with time and you can really minimize these side effects by slowly increasing your dose of Ozempic. Typically, people will start at 0.25 milligrams once per week for a month, then they'll increase the dose to 0.5 milligrams once a week for one month, and then they'll increase it to the big boy dose, one milligram, and they'll use that once per week going forwards. There were some less common, more serious side effects, including increased heart rate, as well as injection site reactions, and a whole bunch of other uh, more serious but more rare side effects, just like any other drug. Let's talk about how to use Ozempic. Ozempic is administered by a subcutaneous injection, so you do it underneath the skin. Now, I know what you're thinking. Injection, that's way too much. I, I don't want to use an injectable. But once you take a look at the size of the needle, I think you'll change your mind. It's a very, very small needle. You hardly feel a thing. So Ozempic, you inject it once per week. And there are many diagrams and instructional videos online about how to use and store Ozempic. So I would personally recommend watching these videos. I would also recommend speaking with your healthcare provider to demonstrate how to use this device in person. I think that's the best way to learn how to use Ozempic. But basically, like I said, subcutaneous injection, either in the stomach, thigh, or upper arm. I've got a placebo pen here, but this is about what it looks like. You attach the needle to the end of the pen, take off both caps, prime the pen to make sure that there is some liquid coming out and only do it the first time, by the way. Select your prescribed dose, use an alcohol swab to clean the area, insert the needle, press the button at the back and hold for 10 seconds, take it out, discard the needle in a sharps container, and you're good to go. There are some special attributes for Ozempic, right? Some things that differentiate Ozempic from other types of diabetes drugs. First of all, and very importantly, Ozempic tends not to cause low blood sugars like insulin or like sulfonylureas do. Second of all, you only need to inject Ozempic once per week versus other diabetes drugs where you need to inject it daily. Third of all, there's an oral version of the drug called Ribelsis that is available. So if you're someone who absolutely cannot tolerate injections, you can also consider Ribelsis. And lastly, Ozempic provides heart and kidney protection to certain populations, which means that if you're someone in those populations, it can lower your chances of having some kind of heart attack or stroke, and it might also protect your kidney function as well. So talk to your doctor about that. In conclusion, that's all I have to talk about when it comes to Ozempic. 
I hope this video has been helpful and I wanna thank pharmacy students Anthony and Prakesh for helping me to write this script. These two guys are doing a fantastic job. So thank you again for watching and I'll see you in the next video.